So for our German lentil soup, we have some lentils, 500 grams, potatoes that are just roughly diced, some nice pieces of back bacon, and I removed the skin, but we're still going to put this into the stock. Some onions, carrots, and celery, so some mirepoix that I just diced into equal parts so they cook at the same time. And I have some vegetable stock because I was just too lazy to make my own. We're going to start frying off our bacon to start building the layers of our stew. We're going to fry this off in some oil, just to get things going. So, so now I just added the onions, and I'm cooking the onions in the fat of the bacon. All the sediment at the bottom of the pan, we're just trying to scrape it off to add additional flavor. Now we just add our carrots, our celery, and season that as well. Now that everything is sweated down, our mirepoix and our bacon, we're just going to add our potatoes in because they take quite long to cook and we just want to get them in as soon as possible. We have 500 grams of lentils and we do not have to soak these before because we're just going to cook them a bit longer. So 500 grams of lentils go in and 500 grams of lentils equals 2 liters of stock. Now we just deglaze the pan with some white wine vinegar. And now we just add our vegetable stock. And we're going to add some water just to top it off. Don't forget to throw in um, the skin that you, where you cut off the bacon from, just to prepare it the most flavor possible. Have it, just add a bunch of fresh thyme. This will make all the difference. Now we're going to add a small teaspoon of mustard. For a traditional German lentil soup, we would usually use a sausage called Wiener or Bockwurst. The only thing I could find since I live in Malaysia is Frankfurter. We're going to heat them up in a sous vide immersion circulator just because I have it running right now. Otherwise, I would just take a pot of water and boil them inside. 